my name is Antonio Makarov. Welcome to Russian with Passion. So today we study Russian and namely we are going to focus on the second declension of nouns, of Russian nouns. Do not forget that on this channel we study also English, but today it's the Russian day. So, Russian. The second declension, declension. We already discussed that in Russian there are three declensions of nouns, three basic types of declension. And we have already started, studied the first. If you haven't watched uh, my video connected with the first declension, then my advice to you is to watch it first. And after that you can move on to the second declension. So let's talk about it today. The second declension. So, second declension nouns are masculine nouns with zero endings uh, in the initial form. I mean, in the form which you find in the dictionary. For example, it can be stall, a table, or coin, a horse, a male horse, <laughs> a stud. No, it's a little bit different. Anyway, by the way, you might not know what a zero ending is. A zero ending is an ending which does not exist, so it's not there. However, when you change the word forms, the ending appears. You will see that a little bit later. But anyway, let's continue. So, uh, as I have already said, second uh, declension nouns are masculine nouns with zero endings and neutral nouns. Uh, ending in or or ye, also in the initial form. For example, nieba, that's the sky, and pole, field. So, in addition, here we also talk about words, uh, masculine words, uh, in initial form ending in e, like gerbari and uh, neutral nouns ending in e. For example, I have no example here, they are not so common. I'll remember and I put them in the script. Anyway, so these are the words, once again, masculine, zero endings, neuter, uh, or, ye, also masculine ending in e, and neutral ending in e. So, uh, now let's study some basic changes which happen to these nouns when you change the word forms. I mean, when you uh, decline these nouns. So, first of all, in prepositional case, such nouns end in ye. The nouns, I mean here, I'm talking about masculine nouns ending in nothing, I mean with a zero ending, and neutral nouns ending in o and ye. So, in prepositional case, these nouns have an ending ye. For example, o niebe, about the sky, o stali about the table. So, prepositional, the ending ye with these nouns. However, the masculine nouns ending in e and neuter nouns ending in e end in e in prepositional case. Now, that's the difference, so be careful. There are two gro groups here and we need to differentiate them. So, once again, masculine ending in zero endings and uh, neutral ending in o or ye, in prepositional case, have the ending ye. However, masculine nouns ending in e and neutral nouns ending in e ye, well, have in prepositional case the ending e. For example, o gerbari, about gerbari. <laughs> so, okay, and now let's take a look at the table, which will demonstrate how the words change their forms when you take a look at different cases and numbers. However, on the plural, we'll focus a little bit later in another class. Now, now let's just focus on singular. So, second declension nouns in singular.
let's analyze, let's decline. So let's take a look. We say kon, kanya, kanyu, kanya, kanyom, okanye. Let's decline the word nieba. Nieba. Nieba, but in this case the ending is a, although both forms are pronounced more or less the same. But you know that o in an unstressed position is pronounced as a, that's why we say nieba, even though it's written niebo. So anyway, let's start again. Niebo, here I'm pronouncing just to make it clear. Genitive, nieba, dative, niebu, accusative, nieba, instrumental, niebam, prepositional, or niebe. And let's take one more. Gerbari. Именительный падеж. Гербари. Кто что? Гербари. Родительный падеж. Кого? Чего? Гербария. Дательный падеж. Кому? Чему? Гербарию. Винительный падеж. Кого? Что? Гербарий. Творительный падеж. Кем? Чем? Гербарием. И предложный падеж. О ком? О чем? О гербарии. So, once again, take a look at this table thoroughly. Try to memorize the endings, how these nouns change. Try to see the logic, try to remember it and practice. At the end of our class I'll give you a couple of more nouns. Your job will be to decline them too. So, well, create different case forms in singular. As I have already said, as for plural we're going to focus in it, on it in another class. But that's it for today. I hope that you found this class useful and you learned some new stuff and now you have a clearer and um, well a better understanding of the second declension nouns of course we're going to continue we're going to practice and so on so we are going to move on to the third declension nouns and we're going to summarize so we are going to get to do not worry but that's it for today i hope that you like this video do not forget to give me your heart press the like button also subscribe to my youtube channel follow me in different places and i hope to see you soon happy russian and english practice bye bye let's take the word akno window akno akna aknu akno aknom abakne the next word Sonce, sun. Sonce, sonca, sonsu, sonce, sonsem, a sonce. By the way, notice that the sound, the letter L is not pronounced. We do not say sonce. We say sonce. Moving on, alien, a deer. An animal. Alien, alenia, alenu, alenia, alenim, abalenia. The next word is geni, genius. Geni, genia, geniu, genia, geniem. A genie. And the last word is сомнение. Doubt. Сомнение. Сомнение. Сомнению. Сомнение. Сомнением. У сомнений. Notice some similarities in the patterns. For example, the word окно uh, the declension of the word окно is very similar to the declension of the word небо. And the declension of the word олень is close to the declension of the word конь. The next one, 
Солнце is close to поле, but you use а instead of я, well, because of the л in the word поле is soft and ц is never soft, it's always hard. And the same situation with the dative case. You say полю because л is soft in the nominative case поле. And you say солнцу, у, because ц is hard. Then we can compare гений with гербари, and we can compare сомнение with поведение.